Today we're catching up with Teresa from Team Singapore. The 29 years old swimmer won dozens of medals throughout her career, except in Paralympics. Until a few days ago when she made it to the third place in the 100 meter breaststroke event. Teresa, in your career you won many, many medals. Does this one that you have around your neck as a special test? Is that a special one? It tastes, it tastes so much sweeter and um, definitely um, many, many years in the making and uh, it's, it couldn't be better. <laughs> Tell us a little bit how did you feel uh, after the, the, the race when you realized that you, you, you won that Finally, you won that medal, that Paralympics medal that you were reaching for for so long. Um, the first thing I felt was relief, um, and then disbelief, <laughs> and then and then just pure happiness. I uh, man, it's been it's been so long and so many Paralympic games and um, a couple of missed chances, but. When I realized that it finally happened, I, I could not believe it. <laughs> I really couldn't. <laughs> it was a very long road to get that, this medal. And you are starting your preparation about a year and a half ago with an injury. It was very tough for you. Um, can you explain us how did you organize your planning for training and how did you organize your preparation to get here? Um, it's been a really long time, uh, over over 17 years, uh, but I feel like the whole thing started when I first started swimming because, uh, I mean, it all started from there. I, I felt like at that time it was kind of just to kind of see where things would go because um, I didn't know how far I would be able to go. And then when I reached um, 2008 Beijing, that was my real first real chance of being able to get a medal but I missed out on it by less than a second. Uh, I came in fourth and that was um, really the lowest point of my life because I felt like uh, I felt like I, I, I had failed in a sense but uh, yeah I was just really disappointed and I didn't know if I'll be able to continue from there you know uh, so I, I, I think I, uh, I needed a time to go and try something else. So I went to powerlifting uh, for about nine months and tried different sports just to kind of get out of the environment for a while. And in the end, I, I kind of came back to swimming because I felt like I had unfinished business and I feel like I, I really felt like I could go so much further than, um, than, than what I had done. And I didn't want to give up until I felt like I had given everything that I had, you know, and um, I sustained an injury after after many years of swimming, so I went. I decided to go for surgery because I felt like uh, my injury was uh, hindering my training, and I wasn't able to give everything in training. And if I wasn't able to give everything in training, I wouldn't be able to give everything in competition. So I went for surgery. I went for my rehab. I recovered, and um, about 18 months ago, we changed coach uh, to coach Michael Messi. About maybe three months or four months, I'm not sure, before the, the Paralympic Games, I suddenly realized that I was close enough to actually fight for a medal. And um, it was kind of uh, scary and I was really nervous because I felt like, oh my God, it's like Beijing all over again. Like I, I stand a chance. What if I don't get it again, you know? What, what do I do? So uh, it took a lot of... Um, kind of focusing on training and not worrying so much about the outcome, which is really difficult. <laughs> You're the first female uh, swimmer to represent Singapore at Paralympics. You were the flag bearer in London for the Paralympic Games. Uh, you've been elected a sportswoman of the year many times back home. Uh, you also have been rewarded with a public service medal. What's next? What, what are you dreaming of now? Um, I'm gonna conquer the world. <laughs> no, I, I really don't know. I um, right now short term I, I kinda just need to focus on my last event on the seventeenth. Um, after that there's a little bit of a break for Ping Xi and I and the rest of the team, hopefully. Um, yeah, but I I'm not I'm not sure what's happening after this. <laughs> not yet.
I've heard that you would like maybe to become coach after your career as an athlete. Yeah, uh, that's definitely one of the options. I want to be able to give back to the community that has helped me so much. Um, I'm not sure which part yet because there's so many areas that I feel like I want to be able to contribute in. So coaching is definitely one of it because I, I feel like I have the knowledge to pass on to younger swimmers and um, yeah, but I, I, I kind of need to go and uh, get my coaching certificate first. <laughs> and what about uh, the next Para Games? I'm not sure. I haven't decided. <laughs> I, haven't de I really haven't decided. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Teresa, for sharing with us and good luck with your last events and see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed meeting with Paralympic swimmer Teresa and look forward to meet more members of the team in Rio.